Okay, we're not going to waste any time. Welcome to six surprising things you can do to customize your Android smartphone. First up, we've got an application called KWLP, something I've never covered before because it is one of the more complex Android customization tools, but there are some shortcuts you can take and it is very much worth the effort. KWLP is a live wallpaper maker, but one with so many options that you can almost create your own launcher in its entirety. There's a lot to it, but using presets means that instead of trying to build a theme, you can just tweak an existing one. For a quick example, I loaded up this preset called Bleeding Edge, and it looks amazing. But when I'm scrolling, the homepage is only moving about 50% of the distance it needs to to reveal the layer below. All I had to do was to open up the application and locate the top layer. I then dipped into animation settings and essentially just adjusted the speed of the animation so that when you do scroll, one scroll will mean that that top layer disappears entirely. And that's it, all of a sudden, this works exactly how you'd want it to. Hex Shaders is a live wallpaper app that I have covered once before, but it has improved a lot and there are now over 20 different options to pick from. Not to mention, these aren't your standard live wallpapers. Each one has a pixelated look to save battery, and when I show these to people, they're either completely entranced or they can't stand the aesthetic. But to me, because the grid is actually hexagonal and not square, I think instead of looking pixelated, it actually looks kind of artistic. Volume Pi is one that doesn't need much of an explanation. Once enabled, you swipe from the right or the left of your screen to bring up sliders for your media, alarm, and call volume. With a lot of phones, even this one, the Find X, your fingers don't naturally rest on the volume buttons. So if you want to change the volume on the fly without needing to adjust your grip, this is a neat way of going about it. You can also just give a light touch to bring up the media volume alone, which I thought would be really fiddly, but it works all right. Then we've got Niagara Launcher, which is a pretty new one. If the fanciness of what I've shown you so far doesn't appeal to you, this launcher lets you go to any app in two taps, and it can also be used one-handed. From the name, I'm guessing it's inspired by the famous waterfall, and you see elements of this when using the launcher. It's not overly animated though, quite simple and to the point. Next up, we've got keyboards, and there's actually two that I want to show you. The first one being Kruma, which adapts to the color of the application you are in. So if you're in the Play Store, it's green. If you're browsing YouTube, it turns red, and so on and so forth. It is packed with gestures and also has a night mode, which can change the color tone when low light is detected. So it's not too in your face when you're about to sleep. Also, this app has been a long time in the making and has just had an update, which has drastically improved the autocorrect. The other option is Flexi, and visually, this is maybe even more to take in. On default settings, there are colors and animations everywhere, but the word prediction and correction is very accurate, and gestures like swiping to delete words speeds things up when you get used to it. It's a fun one to play around with as well. Lots of fine tuning you can do in the personalization tab. You can even make each key press cycle in the colors of the rainbow. Mirror Lab is probably the coolest way to make your perfect wallpaper. A good way to describe it would be as an abstract photo editor, and the best way I've found to create a wallpaper is to take one you already like and then add a slight tweak, like the height map, which takes light areas and lifts them out of the image. There's everything here, from the ability to add turbulence to your background, create pop-ups which distort the wallpaper, and my personal favorite, introducing geometry, which lends itself quite nicely to nature and landscape photos. A lot of fun to be had here. If you did enjoy the video, I've got a lot, I mean a lot of Android customization content, so I'll link that from this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.